Oh. Interesting. Oh, hello. Uh, no, let me just put my newspaper down. Um, I'm on the loo. <laughs> Come back in a minute. Come back in a minute. Oh, <laughs> that's much better. Um, you caught me off guard there. Uh, yeah, it's been it's been a bit of a long night. Uh, I've been going through some of that paperwork we found uh, in that trunk. Um, yeah, and it, there's lots of pieces of scrap and diaries and whatnot else. Um, but there's this there's this peculiar well, I can only describe it as maybe it's a cipher. Uh, lots of weird lettering. Um, there's, there's this one bit. It's, uh, uh, people know me as Wild Bill. Uh, I have a fascination with history. And people have been after my, my treasure for many years. This is the last piece of information... That you will need to find my lucrative items. And then it's got a list of loads of random letters. As an example, I mean, the first line it's uh, UB, BK, K, I, BH, and there's a dash, uh, UM, H, I, again a dash, and, and so on and so forth. And there's quite a bit of it on uh, multiple sheets here. Um, there may be more. <laughs> there may be more. Can't seem to find more. Um, I don't know, maybe it's some sort of code. Uh, I mean, a lot, of, lot more paperwork to get through that came out of that crate. So we'll, we'll have a look at that tonight. But I tell you what I'll do is I'm going to put all this gibberish down in the description on this video. And if any of you can figure it out, fantastic. Not the cleverest of clever. I'm not the clever spark. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I'll put that down there later on. In the meantime, let's get cracking for the morning. Because we have a field to harvest. Well, I hope, hope we should be ready by now. Uh, let's take a walk over. We have to rent a header again. I'm guessing. Should, uh, I think we'll have to sell some uh, lettuce first to get enough money for it. Uh, the lettuce is there, so we've got that. It's not a problem. One, two, three. <sighs> yeah, it's ready. Look at that lovely bit of wheat. That. And just test it. Now, uh, yeah, it's almost ready. I'd say it's about 11.5. Want that to come down just a little bit, so uh, it's warming up. By the time we get these sold, that probably be bang on ready. So I think that's what we'll do. Uh, let's run over and let's run over and get the truck. We'll get those down and sold. Uh, still got no movement on our tree saplings yet. Uh, I was reading in the magazine, a couple of magazines actually. Uh, these uh, these spruce take about nine months to start growing properly. Anywhere between nine months and two years to grow. So they may take a while. So I might just get some other trees to plant there in the meantime. Uh, we we'll get these over and we'll get these sold. And there we have it all loaded up. I uh, think that's all we've got. Yep. Uh, so we're going to get this shoot over to train depot. Firm on track. This should hopefully give us enough money to sort something out. Although we've still got that straw to bail up. That will give us some money as well. Uh, we'll see what... Let's uh, see what money we make. We have to make a decision. So we'll see you down there. Uh, it's, it's not far. There we are. Last one's on there now selling. Have a 
jibbly jubbly. Right. Eddie's still away. There's no need to uh, try to find him and find out what he wants us doing because um, we've not been able to get hold of him the last couple of days. So he must be very busy wherever he is. Probably doing some wheeling and dealing. But we'll just head straight up to the shop. See what we can do. How maybe we can try and get him to deliver or something. Or should I just... Oh, I've gone the wrong way here. Yeah? Oh, that's a good thing that's not deep. <coughs> right, yes, yeah, so we'll uh, enter the shop, see what we can do. I'm th actually, I'm thinking I might just grab the. If I grab the harvester and just take the harvester up there briefly, that would save having to. Pay more money out, although you are going to be paying diesel out in the long run. Yeah. I think we we'll just take a drive up there. Let's see what Keith can do for us. Maybe he can deliver it down here for us. So we'll see you in a mo. Right. Deal's been struck. <laughs> Uh, we have got the head up. We're going to have to bring up the harvester. They can't bring it down. He's a little busy. Um, and they haven't got a trailer for this one in stock at the moment. So I can't do that way. Um, and we've got this on rent. It's, uh, it's a cheap little baler. Those little brown bales. That'll do for the straw. So we're going to take that back straight away. If we can get... There we go. This truck's getting a little sluggish. Probably needs good service to be honest, but she'll be good. She'll be all right. Let's back her on up. I can't run it with this, but we can at least tow it back. All right, here we go. I ought, ought to check on the chickens at some point this morning as well. Ah, so, Mr. Wheeler Dealer Eddie, um, he was just saying that he, he's, he's buying an old windmill. Not sure exactly what he meant by it. Um, hang on, he's just sending me some more information and a photo. I'll check that out in a second. Um, but yeah, he says he's buying an old windmill. I'm just looking at it now. Oh, bloody hell, it is an old one. Uh, so, yeah, uh, it's a windmill. It's a proper old windmill. And he's planning on dismantling it and bringing it over here. And he's going to run it run it as a mill. And he said, I'm more than welcome to come around and use it free of charge. I'm guessing he means I can make flour there. That would be nice. That would be pretty cool. Oh, I don't imagine that'll be any time soon. It's nice of him to think of us. Here we are. We are here. We have arrived. Now we need to turn that on. Activate. And away we go. There we are. Straight away, lovely jubbly. Should get a nice yield out of this. Hoping for at least 12,000. We will see. Um, I'm going to try and keep a straight line. I'm probably doing an awful job of that. I know the field bends out to the right just there. Uh, I'm trying to avoid the urge to bend with it. I'm going to go straight, I'm going to pull back, and then do that extra little bit. <laughs> And then carry on. Although I might need to. No, nope, nothing's in the way, so we're all right there. So yeah, we just pull it back. Uh, there we go. 
Oh, it's only a little bit, so it ain't too bad. Hmm, turning's going to be a bit awkward, so I might, I might do a headland here at the bottom. Probably be best. Uh, to come to think of it, I don't think our seed is a direct drill. Um, and we haven't got a cultivator. So we may either, we'll have to buy, I'd say, see if we can get a, see if we can get a cultivator. Possibly. Or, well, we won't be able to afford a direct drill, that's for certain. Maybe a cultivator. If not, we're going to be ploughing it in again, which is going to bring up even more stones. I think what we'll do is we'll... I've missed that start, that edge there. Do you see that? Oh dear. Let's just readjust a little. Still missing it. I must be blind. There we go. It's only patch field I should be missing things in. There we go, that's perfect. Ish. Missed a bit there, missed a bit there, missed a bit there, I think. Oh dear. <laughs> um, so yeah, I think we're not going to be able to afford a direct drill or even a, another cedar at this rate, but a cultivator is not out of realm of possibility. Although, saying that, um, it would probably be best to plough it again, just in case. So we've got to de-stone it anyway. Uh, and at least that way it'll have the same... It'll be the same sort of texture as the extension as well. I think for next season we'll cultivate. That could be a good idea doing it that way around. Right. So yeah, we'll, we'll just bash a load of this out. And get it done. See you shortly. We're about, oh I'd say that after this pass, about halfway through. Uh, we've done a couple of trips already to the silo. We've got eight, about 8,000 in there already. So, um, my 12,000 estimate, I think I underestimated. I reckon it'll be a bit more than that. Which is good. That's always good. Um, we're keeping the majority of this wheat crop anyway. Uh, for the uh, chickens. We're going to need it for the chick chicks. Yeah, it's been, it's been a nice, solid day so far. Uh, so we're just going to carry on here in the old wheat field. Uh, we've had to buy a drum of oil. Um, we haven't got it yet. Um, also got to give him a tip when he gets here. And I've completely faffed that. Let's go back. There we go. Catch that again. Um, yeah, we, we've got to buy a drum of oil. We've paid for the oil. Uh, we're just waiting for it delivery. Uh, I think... I like to think we paid for the delivery. But if we haven't, we're going to have to pay for that on top. Um, it's not from Keith and Sarah's either. Uh, although I did try them. Um, they managed to pass us on. The fuel depot station, or the fuel station, down south... Um, I think I've just done it again, actually. I have. How can I keep missing these little, little bits on the edges here? Oh, wow, it's a lot longer than I thought it was as well. There we're getting it now. Uh, yeah, so we've ordered it from there. That should be coming shortly. But we need the oil because I've got warning lights on the harvester. Um, I kind of should have checked that at some point, but I didn't. Yeah, so we've got warning lights on here, coming up on the dash for oil. It's not overly low, it's um, it's just above minimum at the minute, so we need that topping up. Uh, I'm taking a chance by cracking on with it, hoping it ain't going to seize up or anything. But generally, when it says it's low and it's already warmed up, that's just because of the amount that's flowing through it. So it probably does need a top up. And then I ordered a whole barrel full, so I thought I'd tap, top up all the vehicles. All the agricultural vehicles anyway, the two tractors and this. 
Hope I don't think we'll get through a full. I can't. I can't imagine us getting through a full oil. Uh, I can't imagine us getting through a full oil container, but it's better to be safe than sorry. So we'll crack on and I'll see you at the end. Now this seems to be the last little strip in a bit. So we should do this in two halves I suppose. And catch that a little bit at the end. Uh, but yeah, I mean, I was, I've been wrecking my head all, all morning over these uh, letters. What do they represent? What's this code looking like? Is there, is there any real validity to it? Um, I don't know. I can't work it out. I mean, there may be some more information in the paperwork, and um, it'll take me a while to to get this put up on the uh, interweb for you all to view. So, um, yeah, I should imagine if I find anything else relevant paper-wise, I'll put it all up there in the description. So, yeah, feel, feel more than welcome to peruse and give me a hand trying to break it. Uh, hopefully, there's enough information there for, for someone that's smarter than me to work it out. <laughs> this is the last little bit. I'm hoping this will all fit in. We're at 80... 87, 88 percent, almost full. So it's this last little strip, and it is a little strip. We should be able to get it in this one tank. Uh, the only downside is I'm not going to be able to get it all in the trailer. The trailer only holds four thousand. Yeah, so we're looking like we're getting five, one, two, three, four, four bales every five rows. It's not quite a bale a row. So my estimation of 30 overall may be doing it a little overdoing it a little bit. No, it turns perfect and effortlessly with this. It's a lovely little baler. Is it as nice as the Kloss one that we rented? Uh no, because the Kloss one obviously had the self wrapper on it, uh, which can do straw as well. It just won't wrap the straw. Uh, the only problem we have we would have with the Kloss one is if we wanted to bale grass or hay for animals, we couldn't because it would automatically wrap it, register it, and wrap it. You can't turn that off for that. So you know, uh, this is an alternative if we're not going to wrap. Nice little machine. You see, it just turns almost look, tight. That turn is. It's lovely. Works out beautifully for us. And we're getting a nice amount in each bale. Yeah. The alarm's going off again. We're approaching the hundred mark. Got five thousand liters per bale can't really beat that well you can obviously you can get bigger bales bigger balers um, but this is the one that we can operate with this machinery with the machinery we have the tractors and the power that we can possess anyway we'll crack on as always see you soon All right, so we just had a phone call uh, the gentleman that's um, Rodney, the gentleman that's coming to have a look at the manure, the new spreader, um, he should be here within the next sort of 10 to 20 minutes. This has just come off the main junction at Elm Creek, so which is only sort of 15 minutes up the road. So yeah, we're gonna, I'm gonna think we're gonna just stop at the edge here and turn this around to line up for the next one, uh, and then we'll run over and pull it out with our. We can use a Massey 100, pull it out. Get it ready to have a look at. Maybe I don't know. So we give it a wash. Might be worth. All right, anyway, let's jump out. That'll be all right there. Leave that there for a minute. Let's run back. Do, do, do. 
Jesus. Oh, God. So we use the pickup. So pulling the Massey out, I think the pickup should be able to pull it out. We're not using the PTO or anything. Just need to hook up to its trailer hitch and pull it out. Well, his offer on the phone was 30,000. Um, he'll probably try and knock me down a few quid, which is fine. I mean, he's coming all this way to take it off our hands. Uh, it's only kind of fair that we let him knock us down a little bit. <clears throat> Tell you what we do. Give it a quick. Make sure that's clean. Might as well do the truck while we're at it. it. Doesn't look like we've just cleaned that then if it's the truck. Truck's right near it. There we go. Mm, swing it round here. Oh, it is a bit too heavy for the truck. Uh, we'll just pop it here. I think we'll disconnect the truck. Because he's probably going to have his own piece of equipment to, to pull it. That's it. That looks, looks good. Looks in good nick. There's nothing damaged on it. It's all cleaned up. I didn't leave any... I hope I didn't, because I just washed it. Nope. Uh, even the chain runners are looking immaculate. Perfect. Can't see him wanting to... Oh, I can't see him trying to knock us down too much. Uh, until he gets here and the deal's done, we're going to crack on. I want to get this field done, because we've still got the other one to bail. Uh, cool, blimey, look at the size of that swath bit. Uh, maybe I shouldn't have stopped where I stopped. Not gone on the intake though, so we should be alright. <laughs> there we go. Right. Uh, turn that on. And away we go. Alright, so we'll see you in a little while. Hopefully we get this done. Uh, and that sold and into the next field. <laughs> Well, I stop, want to stop for lunch at about 12, so we'll see how far we get. Let's get this one unloaded. Alright, so I'll see you. Uh, yeah, it's definitely dropped. Uh, hello, everybody. Uh, yeah. <clears throat> I just had some uh, egg on toast for my lunch. Uh, yeah, we had a nice little breather. We've sold the uh, uh, what was it called? fertilizer spreader. That went uh, 27,800. He did knock me down a little bit. <laughs> um, he didn't knock me down as much as I thought he would, I'll be honest. Uh, apparently this, this will be picked up within, within the next 5 or 10 minutes, I'd imagine. So I'm just going to clean out the filter on this. Um, so I'm going to have to put the camera down. Uh, and then we'll get going. So we'll see you in a mo. Hello, here we are. We are bailing in the last field here. Keith's been down, he's taken it. Um, I felt bad about selling the uh, manure spreader. Um, I did tell him. <laughs> he was absolutely fine about it. He said, I should have brought it up there, could have got more money. <laughs> oh, what a killer. Um, but I said to him, I'll probably be after a nice fertilizer spreader for the fields rather than using what manure we have, because we can use that for the greenhouses. Um, it's free, it's cheaper than paying for fertiliser in the greenhouses. We can use fertiliser for the fields. Um, yeah, that's absolutely fine, we just pop up whenever we need to. 
he'll find us one. He's got a few old ones in stock, so um, they're cheap enough, which is nice. Uh, it'd be nice not to spend all the money for a change. <laughs> uh, we know what it's like We're always spending the money. So yeah, we're just going to start bailing this field now and get this one bashed out as quick as we can. I'll have to get some uh, a trailer or something for them. Bail them up. Uh, bail them up. Stack them up. Get them sold. There we go. So yeah, we've got all that to look forward to this evening or this afternoon. Try and get it all done in one go. So we'll see you in a little while. Uh, I'll give you an update on the field. Here we are on the home stretch. Last little piece here, and just next to me, there's a tiny piece and all. <sighs> so we'll get this bit done, and I'm guessing we're going to have to try and sort out our trailer for them. Do, do, do. Even with this last little bit, I'm not sure if it'll be a full bale. Might have to go and see if we can get the odds and sods that may be lying in the field. Doesn't seem to be a lot here. All right, unfortunately, <laughs> I couldn't get quite a bale off of here. As you can see. Um, and I've only just realised in attempting to find a button on there that would release an unfinished bale. Um, I could have adjusted the size to 180, and yet I had it 125. I just... <laughs> <laughs> it's my own fault let's face it it is my own fault i should have realized that never mi never mind never mind we're gonna get this taken back and see what we can do about a bow trailer uh maybe have a couple while we're up there have a little chin wag keep them up to date with things and find out any more gossip seeing when this lot opens i mean i can hear that one's running but i've never seen anything leave here so, maybe we can find out a bit more about that. Ah, that was a, a nice little chin wag. Uh, right, so yeah, we've got a little bale trailer. It's going to be a by hand jobby. I was hoping that they had one of those uh, fancy electri electrical ones. Picks the bales up and deposits them on the bed. Unfortunately, they do not. Or they, at least they don't have one in stock. Uh, it looks like it's a hand jobby jobby. At least this time round. <laughs> ah yes, yeah, so uh, yeah the bakery's up and running apparently. They do have quite regular mornings. Um, they're normally done and dusted. Their delivery is all out by 6 a.m. The warehouse, as it is, they haven't seen a dicky bird since it's been built. They haven't seen anyone. So, uh, who knows? Who knows what's going on with that one? But yeah, apparently the bakery is up and running. Quite busy in the morning. And from what Keith was saying, they, they, um, there is a couple of trucks that, does, that do go past our farm. Uh, they're obviously pretty darn quiet because I've never heard them. Uh, and there are occasions when I've been up at, at, at six. Not many, but <laughs> some. Alright, let's pop this here. Oh, I suppose we better start getting lifting these on. I'm kind of glad I did the smaller bales now. <laughs> I just realised this has no straps. Uh oh, that's not good. No straps. That's going to be a tricky one. There's seriously no straps.
I think that's the last of them. On this field, anyway. <coughs> yep. Got room for one more. I'm going to run over and grab one. side let's get them up that's the heavy part <sighs> right let's get these ones sold all right last bale Ugh. there we are we're up to 31 grand. Can't argue with that, sir. All right, let's close that door. Uh, this is a big old one. I've got to be careful to spin in this round. Uh, I wonder if I can... Can I get around that shed? Yes, we can. Maybe the longer way around of doing it, but... <laughs> well... Right, let's get the next lot done. Hello, viewers. Welcome back. Uh, I did the second field. I forgot to record any of it. My bad. Um, but yeah, you see how cash flows up nicely. All the straw has gone... It's time for a little tidy up before the end of the night. So, uh, let's have a look how we're going to organise this. I think the first things first is to get this in. Um, probably washed as well. So, let's first swing it over here for a clean down. They're going to be used for a year now. There we are. You've got to get all the rotary in here. Make sure that's definitely clean. That's the important part there. Without that working, nothing's going to be picked up off the uh, off the field. Beautiful. Right. Now comes the fun part: parking her. There we go. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. I think we could put the stone picker in front of it. So, because we are going to need that soonish. I think that would be a good idea. Put the stone picker in front of the harvester. Because it ain't going to be used in quite some time. Come on, in you go. There we are. Plow will be used before the cedar. So if we put the plow in front of the cedar, then we can. Yeah, if we put the plow in front of the cedar. Oh, right in it. There we go. What else do we need to get in? The trailer. Yeah. And the trailer in front of the grass cutter. For now, we're not going to be cutting grass in the next couple of a uh, month or two because we are going to be doing the field work, getting that prepped, ready and planted for next season. So we can put 
if we can get it in we'll get the trailer in front of that Too tight to the wall. More angle, there we go. Just there's fine. That leaves a space for me to get this in. And that should slot in next to its little friend. There we go, job done. Alright, that's all we can put away. Nice. Let's see our producing. Oh, we got one produced. Nice, nice. Uh, I did leave the truck around here, didn't I? Ah, oh, there it is. There it is. Alright, I think. First thing we to do tomorrow is take a look at the field, see what we'll try and work out and plan what we are going to do next with it. Um, go buy a fertilizer spreader at the shop. See what else they have. And we're going to need something maybe for the lime as well. And try and get the field prep properly this year. We've got majority of the equipment. I think we've got enough money to get it done. The only thing I'm worried about is seeds. Obviously and fertiliser. That's going to be a pricey one. But we've got some cash flow. So we can sort something out. So I'm going to go in. Uh, make myself a cuppa. And I'll see you next time. Um, oh, it's cold. That's going to go in the way. Let's go put it in our sink. we go wash that up. So yeah, until next time. Have a good one. Take care.